Hello fellow devs, welcome back to AstroDevs channel. In today's video, we're going to see how we can create a video call application with Flutter and introducing our sponsor, Zigo Cloud. Zigo Cloud is your global communication partner. With developer-friendly SDKs and APIs, Zigo Cloud empowers apps with video calls, chat, conferences, and streaming. Explore the UI kits at their website for easy app integration. Sign up for 10,000 free minutes of their service and build your video call app effortlessly. Stay tuned for a tutorial on showcasing Zigo Cloud's call kit. Alright, now because in this video I'm just going to test it on an Android device, I'm just going to show you how you can modify your Android folder inside your Flutter project. But if you want to run this application on an iOS device, there are some modifications needed to be done on your iOS folder, which I'm not going to show you in this video. But if you go to the website and read the documentations, the documentations are actually so clear and you can fully understand what you need to do in order for your app to be executable on an iOS device. Alright, so the first thing you need to do, you need to go to your Android folder and find your manifest which can be found in app folder, source and then go inside the main and there is your Android manifest. And then you need to insert all these users permissions which I'm gonna be actually leaving a GitHub link to all of this for you in the description down below. So there's an easy way for you to just insert them all at once. And next, you need to go inside your app folder again and be on the app level and find your build.gradle and change your compiler sticker version to be 34 then you need to change your minimum sticker version to be 21 and one last thing when you are on the app folder create a new file call it as proguardrules.pro and write this code inside it and by the way there is also a github link to this so you can actually write the code and copy the code from there and type it in here. And then you need to go to your build.gradle, which was in the app level build.gradle. So you have two build.gradles, where first is in the Android level, so is, which is here, and the next one is in the app level folder. And find it and write down these codes inside your release codes. All right, now your Android app is set up, let's go and create our Flutter application. All right, one last thing, you need to add the Zigo UI kit package to your Flutter dependencies. All right, now go and create a new stateless widget in your Flutter app. Then change the container with the Zigo UI kit pre-built call widget and import your Zigo UI kit package. All right, and then next, you need to insert your app ID. The app ID and the app sign, both of them can be found on your dashboard at the Zigo Cloud website. So insert your app ID and insert your app sign, but remember your app sign is an S string and then write your app sign in there. Next, you need a call ID. The call ID is a common thing shared between two users who want to connect to the same call. So in order for two users to connect to each other, they need to share the same call ID. So this call ID is gonna be read from our widget. So if we use our video call page widget, we actually need to give it a call ID. And that is how you can create your call ID. All right, next thing you need is a user ID. So the user ID must be a unique thing, not shared between two users. All right, so what we can do is to easily come up here outside of our class and create a user ID using the random method from the dot math. And now easily we can actually have a unique user ID for each user which enters the call. So pass the user ID. Next thing we need is a username. All right, so the username can easily be created by just typing the username alongside with the user ID. So we are sure that the user ID and the username are both unique. And for the config, we should use the Zigo UI kit config dot one-on-one -on -one video call. 
And that is how you set up your video call page widget. Now let's go to the home page. So as for the home page, I just cleared it out my main app and passed a home page widget to it. And I have set the debug show check mod banner to be a false so we don't see that debug banner on the top right corner. All right, now let's go to our home page widget. All right, now I want to create a floating action button. So when I click on it, a pop-up would show up and asks for a call ID. And after I insert the call ID, it would take me to the video call page widget. All right, so for setting up our floating action button, you can use the floating action button inside a scaffold, then use the floating action button widget to create your floating action button. As it's child, I'm just using a video chat icon. And inside the onPress method, I'm just gonna use a method called show text entry dialog, which I haven't created yet. So let's go and create our dialog inside that method. So with a little bit of magic of editing, now this is your widget all done. So inside the widget, you just have to pass a context in order for your dialog to pop up. So we are actually creating a text variable, which is gonna be the call ID inserted by the user. And then we are gonna return an other dialog. And as the title, we can actually ask for the call ID. So enter your call ID. And as for the content, we are actually using a text field and we check if the value is changed, then the text is equal to the value of the text field. And we actually have set up a decoration, a very simple one. And then as the actions, we are actually using two text buttons, one for canceling the pop-up, which is canceled by navigator.off context pop. And then if the user presses OK, we actually send the user to the video call page and actually pass the call ID to the video call page as well. All right, so this is how you can set up your alert dialog. And now we have an error over here, so you should remove the constant, the constant over here as well. All right, now our application is fully done. All right, now if I click on the floating action button over here, the pop-up would show up and asks for the call ID. I can enter a call ID if I want. For example, I can call it as AustroDev. And if I press OK, all right, now it takes us to the video call page widget. And as you can see, because we are using a pre-built UI kit, you can see that the layout is all there using the Zigo Cloud APIs and UI kits. All right, so now the next thing you need is another device to actually write the same call ID and connect them to each other and use your 10,000 free minutes of video call service. Thanks for watching everyone and happy coding.